That is awesome, dude. Look how red he is. That's real animal style right there. <laughs> look at that. This is a day maker, baby. Oh, look at that. Real Animals, presented by Contender Boats. Hey gang, today I'm back Captiva, Florida, one of my favorite places on the entire planet, South Seas Island Resort. My good friend, Cap Mozzie, what, uh, what do we think today is gonna bring, bud? We're gonna shoot offshore and just try it for a mixed bag, maybe some kings, bottom fish, maybe get lucky, get a permit. It's still kind of early, but we're just gonna take a chance. I haven't been out there, so we're weather's, gonna, we're gonna roll been, the dice. Weather's been warm, you never know what good. you get offshore. It's a numbers game, we'll hit them up, see what happens. Yep. Sounds good to me, can't wait. This week's Real Animals Adventure, we're back at the South Seas Island Resort on Captiva. And uh, just an absolutely gorgeous day at this incredible resort. Just fantastic weather here this spring. Uh, our guest captain, as usual, when we fish out of South Seas is Captain Ozzy Fisher. Ozzy does a lot of the fishing business here for the resort, has for years, and his father did it before him. And he is hands down, far and away, one of the best fishermen on the entire west coast of Florida, maybe in all of Florida. He's just a very, very talented guy, both inshore and offshore. Every time I fish with the guy, I'm super excited to get on the water. Talk to me, Oz. What's okay. the, what's we the just got the spot. We're just gonna try to see if there's some kingfish here. I haven't tried it yet this year. I'm just going on a gut feeling, so we'll see. We're just gonna free line some baits and see if maybe we can't get lucky and get a kingfish or some other thing cruising out here. I kind of figured uh, with yesterday's weather, you know, I was running a charter up in Tampa yesterday and knew I was coming down here. And the way things were yesterday, the way the weather was kind of shaping up, I kind of had a funny feeling we were gonna creep offshore today. And uh, that's exactly what happened. We were, uh, we were hoping to catch some kingfish. Ozzy hadn't been out there yet, but uh, lo and behold, you know, uh, we were rolling the dice and, and Ozzy rolled them in the right direction. Here we go, fish on. Get him, Oz, get him, Oz. That a boy. That is a great sound early in the yep. morning, isn't it? <laughs> I don't think it's a kingfish. Maybe it's, it is small. Shaking its head a while. Doesn't know it's hooked yet, maybe? I don't know what it is. Now it's got some weight. It just got bigger. Yes, it did. It's got a lot bigger. <laughs> Big is good. That's a kingfish. Well, you just got done saying that a lot of times you're out here, you'll catch a big kingfish. It's got some weight to him. Maybe we can open the morning with a big one. Big one, huge one just skied out there. Do you see that? Oh my God, it was huge. A nice kingfish here, Mike. It's a nice fish. That one that just skied in front of us was like 40 pounds. It's a nice fish right there. Yeah, a nice fish. Not a bad king. Oh, it's a nice king. It's making you dance. <laughs> Early morning fishing. Captain Ozzy Fisher getting it done. First bait out. That's Gotta my love boy. It. Well, the hunch was right. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely the earliest I've ever caught kingfish it's here. It's <laughs> early, man. It's so early. I don't think I've ever them. caught them this early here. I know I haven't. So early for I them. know I haven't. The earliest I've ever caught them in the year. Don't be angry. One more time, Oz. Yeah. You gonna lip them? Oh yeah, I'm gonna lip them. Nice. Look at that, huh? Nice. Let me cut that hook out of them. Early morning kingfish. Use that baby. real sm light, small leader. The choppers on that thing, huh? Sweet. Get this fish back in the water. Come on. So you ready to go there, pumpkin. <laughs> there he goes. All right, Michael. Oh, that was all you, Oz, man. Getting her done. We uh, pulled out of South Seas this morning. Uh, Ozzy wanted us here a little earlier than normal, which uh, was okay with me, because I always know when Ozzy tells us to be there and he's really excited that uh, we have an opportunity for an epic day. And, we didn't run very far this morning before we made our first stop, and uh, as usual, Captain Ozzy was spot on. There he is. Fish on, Mike. Oh, and there went the 
That's a good one. That's a real one. <laughs> that one's a real one. Oh! Oh! oh, oh. Ooh, that was a stud. Wow. Wow. Oh, man. Look at that. Broke the leader. He, boat, he bit through the numbers. That shows you how big that fish was. He bit numbers through number six wire. Real Animals is brought to you by Quantum Fishing Reels. Outsmart, outfish, outlast. Ray Marine, simply superior. Mirror Lure, turn on the bite. Ingle, high performance coolers. You know, it's, uh, it's been a really crazy year here. Uh, this is early March and uh, everything here on the west coast of Florida is in probably about uh, uh, leapfrog maybe at least a month. We're about a month ahead of schedule. Things are really kind of going crazy. It's been a real mild winter, very warm. We had a really beautiful day today. You know, almost no wind out. Uh, perfect scenario to get offshore. Water temps are still relatively cool. Fish are super active. It's a perfect day to go poking around offshore. One of the coolest things about being out here, you know, just off the beach, a couple of miles, when you get out here and you start to throw those chummies out and things just start to pop, oh, you know, whether it's big Spanish mackerel or kingfish or whatever, it's amazing. It, it probably gets me more excited than any other type of fishing. Cause you just never know what can come in. Yeah. You know, it, uh, a grouper, grouper come up to the surface. Sure. Amberjacks, you know, kingfish. There's so many different, I've hooked tarpon out here doing this. It's crazy. You know, uh, kingfish are one of those uh, species that uh, they, they're, they're, they're kind of cut like an arrow. They, uh, they, they fly through the water super fast. They come cruising up on baits and jump out of the water, just crush them. It's absolutely spectacular to see. Um, toothy critter, real toothy critter. I mean, it's not, you know, unusual to lose two or three or four or five big kingfish. You know, if they just hit your bait just the right way, they can cut your leader, they can cut the wire. Um, got a big jawline on them and they can take a whole bait in a big gulp. Again, when they get on the, the, the initial drag, the scream, they call them smoker kings for a reason because sometimes you gotta pour a little water on that reel to cool them down a little bit. The smoke gets going crazy. Oh, that's a stud! That was insane. Look at your way, that's a big boy. That was insane. <laughs> that was the insane, dude. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. That was awesome. He doesn't even know he's hooked yet. I'm on two. Oh. I'm on again. Double up. Double up. Coming at the boat. The thing that's nice about these cabos, Mike, you really need a fast retrieve on these fish when they run at you. Doubled up on kingfish in early March. Unbelievable. This fish is big, bro. Look at this fish. Look at the color. Woo, you got a big one, Mike. Dude, it's a big fish. That's a nice fish, too. Yeah, nothing like no, yours. No, this one's a freak. This is the original. I got a this typical springtime king big right here. smoker little... king right here. Yeah, you definitely Come got a smoker. Back. What a cool fish, man. Unbelievable. There we go. Nice little 10 pounder here. Um, this one is not 10 pounder. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, you're wow. Yours is a big. <laughs> Dude, that's a big kingfish, bro. <laughs> Let me land this so I can help Dude, you, Mike, because that's yeah, a special we're... kingfish you got. That's right not there. a solo fish. Come here, baby. All right. I'm gonna break this fish off. Look at that. That's not a bad fish either. No. Nope. All right. Come here, Duncan. There we go. Ha! Ah, me out, Mike. We kept saying, why won't that bait swim down? That's Look why it wouldn't swim. the size of that fish. Ozzy. Seriously, bro? <laughs> Woo! Huh? That fish right there is worth the price of admission. Let me tell you what, coming out of the water to eat that bait was absolutely incredible. I mean, that's why you fish yeah. to see things like that to experience that incredible eat. That's why we do it. Come here. I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh yeah, oh get him dog. I got it. 
Get him, dog. Yeah, look how long <laughs> that fish is. <laughs> look at that pig there, Oz. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> look at that. Look Get at yourself. That. That's why they come, baby. Ozzy oh. Fisher, nobody better on the west coast of Florida getting her done. Nice. South Seas Resort, got a great place to stay right here. Come and enjoy some of that. Back country, offshore, it's all right here. Come in head first, Mike. There Lord he up. goes. That was Woo! unbelievable, yeah. brother. That is world-class fishing at its best. Unbelievable. Real Animals is brought to you by South Seas Island Resort, Spider Wire, nothing gets away, Bull Bay Rods combined with Fuji Guides for a difference that you can feel, Strike First Lures, outfish everybody. You know, it's a little early here on the uh, west coast of Florida for kingfish. They're probably, uh, you know, even here to the south, they're probably a good month early. Um, but whenever you get that big push of bait offshore, you know, they, uh, they swim and eat uh, pretty heavy. Uh, so if there's no bait, there's no kingfish. And when Ozzy crept out there yesterday, there was a lot of schools of bait fish out there just offshore. And he kind of had a funny suspicion the kingfish were here. We're starting to see a few in Tampa as well, but uh, there's some big kingfish here off of Captiva already in early March. Here you're on. I literally just flipped it out of the back of the boat Woo! right into the chum. I cannot believe how many fish are here this early in March. Okay, okay. Angry. Party of one. Can't get a look at him yet. Still a ways out. It's not a bad fish, Oz. No. Not a bad fish at all, look at it. Oh, a nice fish. Nice fish. Another nice kingfish. <laughs> Probably definitely one of the best light tackle fish there is. Ah, uh, they just scream drag. Too many it's people overpower them. Look at that pretty color change in the water when that sun hits them a different angle. It's really spectacular, dude. Look at that color. That's a nice fish, huh? Nice fish. Uh, yeah, nice 15 pounder. Nice fish, huh? Oh yeah, perfect spinning rod fish. Cut them off, pull, pull it a little bit tight for me, Mike. There we go. Nice fish. Boy. These fish, you just want to throw their head first, get that water run through their gills. Just like that, see how he takes off? It was still really early in the morning and we had five or six kingfish to the boat already. We had lost several big fish and the kingfish bite was going really good, but you just don't get that many days in March to venture offshore. Uh, Ozzy had a few pieces. He had a few things in, in, uh, in his mind that he wanted to go take a look at. And you know, whenever you're fishing with a guy like Captain Ozzy Fisher, you just want to let him do his thing. When he feels one thing could lead to another, you just let him take the boat, let him do what he does, and just enjoy the ride. Well, we came to a, I got a little wreck. Look at the size of that permit. And uh, there's some, see if we get permit and took a chance on that. And they're, they're loaded here. You know, we got the kings. A lot of times when our kingfish come in, our permit will come in after them. And we pulled up to this wreck and they're here. Now, whether they bite or not, I don't know, but we just saw a school of two to 300 permits, so. Hopefully we can show you guys one. We pull up on this spot and almost immediately we can all see the permit are on this spot. We got fins up everywhere in the glassed out conditions. A lot of barracuda, which are a really good sign. A lot of times the, the permit are there with the barracuda. And it was probably the most permit that I've ever seen in my entire life. And you could tell the excitement on the boat after what had already been an epic day just went up another notch. I, I'm, I'm like, dude, look, That's dude, the they just keep coming. I've ever seen. They just keep coming. Look at them all. Dude, they never. I can't even think straight right now. I, I don't even know what to do with myself. That's crazy cool. Beautiful flat calm day. Unbelievable. Real Animals Tip of the Week is brought to you by Gator Gems Tackle, not just another tackle store. 
Hey gang, this week I want to talk to you about Yamaha outboards and the reason I choose Yamaha. Real, real simple. Reliability and dependability. Whether I'm on the water with my charters, fishing tournaments, or shooting shows, I need my motor to work for me when I turn the key in my boat and nobody in the industry does a better job of that than Yamaha. Again, reliability and dependability and it all starts with the way they set these motors up. The time and effort that's put into the R&D on these motors, making things right before they come out on the market. The other thing I love about them is a real simple thing called maintenance matters. If you go to YamahaOutboards.com, they've got an entire program set up. Again, it's called Maintenance Matters. And what, is it, what it does is it walks you through simple steps that you can do to take care of your motor and get extra life out of your motor. There's tips in the Maintenance Matters section to keep your fuel system maintained correctly, propeller solutions to get more power, all of these things that Yamaha puts in place to make sure you get 110% value out of your motor, out of your purchase. Yamaha, my choice, the clear choice. Check out Yamaha Outboards today. Real Animals is brought to you by Deeper. Discover water with your smartphone. Plantation on Crystal River. Pro Marine, quality marine engine parts overnight. Closed captioning provided by Gator Ford. The South Seas Island Resort on Captiva Island is a 330-acre wildlife preserve which spans two and a half miles of pristine white sand beaches. Enjoy some of Florida's best fishing from snook and tarpon to grouper and kingfish or play a round of golf overlooking the crystal clear waters of the Gulf of Mexico. The Real Animals Fishing Show can't recommend a better island-style getaway than the South Seas Island Resort. Real Animals Tackle Box is brought to you by CCA Florida and CCA Florida Star Tournament. Rolls Axle Trailers, built like no other. Hey gang, in today's Real Animals Tackle Box, Captain Ozzy and I are using for the Kingfish. We're on an eight foot custom bull bay rod. This is a medium, about a 30 pound class rod. We're using that 30 pound Spiderwire Ultracast Invisibrade on one of my favorite offshore reels. We're using the Cabo 60. Got that big ceramic drag, really perfect for pelagics and those long running species. For the permit, we were using the 20 pound class, the Real Animal Signature Series bull bay rods. We're using a Quantum Smoke 50. Again, we're staying with the 30 pound Spiderwire Ultracast Invisibrade. We're using a 2-aught, 3-aught Nautilus Light Circle Hook, hooking those little crabs right in the corner of the shell. Really a great bait. The baits for the kingfish, speedos, live pilchards, live thread fin herring, they were just attacking. This is all the gear you need to do exactly what we did today. Captain Ozzy being Captain Ozzy, doing what Ozzy does, he grabbed some crabs this morning and shoved them in the well just on a hunch that if the kingfish were here, that probably would mean that the permit are here as well. And man, Ozzy got us on a bunch of beautiful permit. Switch on, boys. Come on, Daddy O. There he is. Oh, boy, just patience. Patience pays off. Oh, boy. Get him, Ozzy. We pulled up to the rack. We saw, I mean, we've at least seen probably a thousand permit. We had to wait a little bit. We saw it. I put a split shot on my crab to get it down. And, uh, that seemed to be the trick. Sometimes you just gotta change it up a little bit. <laughs> they are the best, aren't they? They are. What a great fish. Great fish. There they are, right there. Oh Let's my god, look at them all. I know, look it's down. A pile of them, dude. You see. That's crazy. Pound for pound, Mike, they gotta be one of the strongest fish. They're so powerful, such a great fight, such a beautiful fish. Yeah. Any fish you catch in the Gulf of Mexico that's got a forked tail, yeah. it's gonna fight hard. <laughs> yeah, they do. I like the fact that we're doing it on pretty light tackle too, you know, 20 pound class rods. Yeah, as long as we're not fighting this 20 minutes later, I'll like it too. Yeah. <laughs> Fish on! Double. Doubled up! Got a double, baby. Had a Fish boy. bump! <laughs> Fish bump. Go through, go through, go through. I think we discovered the secret, I Mike. think we discovered the secret too, just a little bit of weight. You know, sometimes that is the key too, it's just the slightest little change and you can get that bite. We were sitting on them for 15 or 20 minutes, had baits right in them and they wouldn't eat. Just putting a little split shot on there, just right at the hook, just a small one, not a lot. 
seemed to really trigger that bite. As soon as I put it on, casted it out, it wasn't out there for a minute, and we got bit again. I was gonna help you with yours, Ozzy, but I'm a little I tied up I can land my right own now. fish. A little tied up. I'd rather you be fighting the fish than landing my fish. You have to come do this. I don't know how you can watch this and not come and do it. It's absolutely amazing. Nice permit, here we go. Look at that, right in the corner of the mouth, perfect. Lee hook. There we go. I still don't have color on mine. Oh, no, 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 get out of there. Uh-oh. I think you're good, Mike. Uh-oh. He ain't chasing it, you're good. So incredibly beautiful and powerful. I mean, the shine way down deep is incredible, Oz. Really? <laughs> 35 pound kingfish and then this? Yeah. You're out of control, kid. You are straight up out of control. People... Everything was on a hunch. <laughs> <laughs> well, hunch roll, was... rolling the dice, I think you said, right? Rolling, rolling the, the dice. dice. That is absolutely unbelievable. Woo! What an absolutely <laughs> epic day on the water. That's a nice fish that right there. That is a beautiful fish. Man. It doesn't, it absolutely does not get any better than that. Fishing with a great guy here on the Gulf of Mexico, South Seas Island Resort. What a beautiful fish, huh? That was just an amazing way to, uh, to end this incredible adventure here out of South Seas Island Resort. You know, Captain Ozzy, I get excited every time I come down here to fish with this guy. He's one of the best in the business to do big kingfish early in the day and then to roll out there and see that epic permit situation. Great day on the water, incredible memories, incredible real animals adventure.